What's going on, guys? Uh, it's been a little while, but we're back in the forest. And uh, today I wanted to talk about crypto and uh, mental health, how, uh, how crypto affects one's mental health. Uh, if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that I, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big advocate of just, you know, like the thought process behind things and how kind of, uh, we as humans kind of react to, 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 you know, just money, nature, everything else. And, um, crypto is very interesting because it's one of those things where it's like, it's completely online. So whenever you're doing anything involved with crypto, you're on a computer. Um, and we just so happen to live in a world that's like dominated by just, you know, online stuff right uh now me uh i'm 24 so i kind of i kind of grew up with like all this internet uh computer stuff like as it was coming up like i, I was pretty much born in 96 when like the internet i think was kind of created right i think um and i kind of remember you know i remember like being involved in like the computers and like just being online like a lot a lot of a lot of my childhood i would actually say um, you know, your boy went out, played basketball with, with the friends and all that stuff, but a good, like, other half of the time was spent online playing games. Uh, so, you know, me being involved in crypto, like, almost all day, every day, isn't that much different. Uh, at least it doesn't feel that much different. Now, uh, the reason, well, I mean, I should, I should say, uh, as I've grown up a little bit, uh, you know, to the point where I'm at now, I really appreciated not being on the computer, not being always on being in front of a screen um and I, I i truly take that very uh i take it very seriously nowadays you know um i i, I feel like there's more to life than just oh shoot is that a spider oh, no it was um i feel like there's more to life than just sitting in front of a screen um watching prices go up or playing games all day for example but i still do like doing those two things just not all the time and I think it's a really important topic to talk about because, you know, like, uh, as you guys have seen me through my YouTube journey, um, or really just content creation, because this, these videos also go in library as well, or Odyssey is what it's called now. Um, you know, I've had to dedicate a lot of time to be online, like looking things up, learning more about crypto and all that stuff. And up until the last couple of months or so, you know, I didn't really start doing anything in person. Um, you know, it, was, it literally was just like the last couple of months, like two, three, four months maybe actually, that, you know, I started doing a in-person meetup. Um, I think it's raining. Uh, you know, in-person meetup for people who wanted to talk about crypto. And once I did that, man, like it changed everything to me. Because um, before, you know, most of my time was spent online. Um, and even then it was hard to like kind of structure my days. Uh, in terms of like, how much time should I spend on the computer? How much time should I spend outside? Um, and because I was doing nothing but YouTube stuff, or really, you know, content creation stuff, you know, it was actually, it was actually pretty easy because I would just be out most of the day. Oh, I try to be out most of the day. Um, I would try to, but otherwise I'd be inside scripting or editing and all that stuff, which takes a while. However, with the uh, whole inclusion of me doing the in-person meetings now, meetups, which some of you have been to, as well as joining other meetups, which are also really cool. I don't know, I've kind of found, I've, I've kind of found this other spectrum of crypto now. That's like, it's really, you know, it's really weird when you go from like doing things on your own for so long to starting to be able to conversate with other people about these things that you like so much, right? Uh, that's why people have meetups, and that's why to a certain extent I, I, I do tend to call crypto like a religion in, in, in a sense. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, how religious people may go to church every week, uh, every weekend, I mean. Um, you know, to get with others who have the same belief and, you know, praise something, right? This is kind of the same thing. Um, so there is no specific day when you meet up with people. You know, you just meet up, you talk about crypto, and you uh, have a good time, you know? Um... And I think that's what I love most about, uh, you know, like this, this space in general, because I think everyone's dying to feel that human connection within crypto, but it's hard to do it because a lot of people inherently just stay home and crypto is always online. So um, I think these in-person meetups, like at least for me, help me a lot kind of see what's going on in the crypto space, how people are feeling, 
you know, all that stuff. And then you have the other side of the whole mental health situation with crypto, with the prices, with the money. You know, this space is entirely about money, which makes sense, you know? I mean, it's a lot of the reason why a lot of us are in it today. Obviously, part of the reason why I'm here too, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. People like to have enough money to live, <laughs> you know what I mean? At the very least. Um, so that's that's definitely the other thing. And I think that's probably the most obvious, um, where it's like, you feel great when the price is going up, but you feel like shit when the price is going down. And I think the great part about it is that once you truly establish that you're in crypto for the tech, like when I say in it for the tech, I mean like you're truly in it to, because you actually care about the technology and what it may do for the future, then price starts to matter a little bit less for you. You know, and then as you go deeper and deeper into the ecosystem, so the people that do you, you know, you're, you're hanging out with different people within the same space, if you're contributing to it, whether it be community-wise or technology-wise, you know, developing, I think over time, you it start to not care that much. I mean, even now, like, personally, like, I'm all involved in this stuff, and even when Ethereum swings up and down, like, a bunch, because that's, again, the most, that's the most uh, crypto that I have is ETH, you know, it doesn't really affect me that much, bro. Like, I, like my mood doesn't change because ETH is down, you know? Um, it's, def it's definitely taken some time for me to kind of master that. But uh, I think along with that is also just not putting more money than you're willing to lose. That's probably pretty important, too. You know, if you put a lot of money in here, thinking, oh, it's okay, I'll, you know, I'll be fine. It's only half of what I own. And you're probably not going to feel that good if it dumps, or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and then you have, the, you know, the black swan scenarios where it shit dumps like fucking 30, 40%. That's different, all right? That's, that's a little different. But still, in general, like, you don't see me, like, you know, sulking because the prices are down. In fact, sometimes I'm actually a little happy because I can buy more, you know? And I think that's the way to look at things. Because um, otherwise, the space is going to be hell for you, especially if you don't come across any crazy money makers. Um, and you don't want to live your life off mood swings because of, uh, <coughs> because of the price going up and down. It's not, it's not how you want to live. So, I definitely suggest, you know, getting involved in the space. I know a lot of you guys are, I know, it's funny, I know people that watch are into a lot of different things, whether it be ETH, Avalanche, Solana, maybe you're not into it at all and you're just learning about this stuff. I would say just get involved somehow. Get on, get on Twitter, follow a bunch of crypto accounts, get on Discord, join a bunch of servers or channels, join my channel if you want to, a bunch of new and advanced people there, and just, you know, let's get it going, bro, you know? There's a lot of, people have a lot to offer in this space. Um, and you can get really far by just showing off your, your unique abilities and being able to like help contribute to different projects and all that stuff. It can go a long way, for real. Um, I, I, and I'm like firsthand experience of that. I started making videos and as time went on, I marketed it correctly um, and people started to see and, you know, now it's like, like, you know, it's really cool to be able to walk around and people see me and like, oh shit, you look mad familiar, like in person. And I'm like, do you watch X, Y, and Z video? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, it's crazy, bruh. Like literally some girl the other day referred to me as Mr. Web 3, bruh. That's nuts. <laughs> what the, f <laughs> that's crazy, you know, because she saw my Web 3 video. Um, so yeah, the space is beautiful. Other people in the space are beautiful. There are a lot of scams though at the same time. So please be careful of those. Always double check with anybody if you're, you know, if if you uh, open up an application and, and ask for your seed phrase, most likely a scam, like 100% of the time a scam. Um, but even anything else, double check with people because the one thing about this space is that it's definitely not forgiven. If you get scammed, if someone takes your tokens, that's it. Like for the most part, no one's, no one's gonna be able to help you. Um, that's why it's important to do your research and learn as much as possible, bro. You know, I've never gotten scammed, but I've definitely lost keys before because I didn't write them down, for example. <laughs> you know, um, so, you know, no one's immune to it, trust me. That being said, thank you guys for watching. And, um, yeah, catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.